healthy habit. Good afternoon. I am May and I am your examiner. What is your name? Good afternoon. My name is John. Kindly tell me your exam. Good afternoon. I am May and I am your examiner. What is your name? Good afternoon. My name is John. Kindly tell me your examiner number. Yes, sure. My examiner number is 19078. May I see your passport? Of course. Here it is. Okay, thanks. In this role play you will take the role as your profession, and you are a nurse. Am I right? Yes, you are right. Please start now the role play. Hello, my name is John, and I am going to be your emergency room nurse today. What do you prefer to be called? Me. All right. I understand you have a burn injury in your forehead. Is that right? Yes and I am in a lot of pain. I am sorry to hear that. I can understand it's hurting quite a bit. I will give you something for the pain in a moment and attend to the wound. Before that, would you mind telling me how it happened? Or, yes, I was getting ready to go out with some friends. And I was using this hair curling iron to curl my hair. And I wasn't paying attention because I was watching something on TV at the same time. I know I should have been more careful. That's a pity. And can you tell me what you did next? Did you apply anything on the burn area? Ah, uh, yes. I had read online some time ago that it's best to apply a compress to a burn using a cold towel. So I did that. I was in pain, so I rushed straight to the hospital. That's good. You did the right thing. Leaving the burn area unattended for too long could have led to an infection. Have you taken any painkiller at home? No, I called my friend who asked me to come here. It's a searing pain. Don't worry. The first thing I am going to do is to give you an injection for pain relief now. Then, I will clean the burned area and apply an antibiotic ointment to prevent any infection. After that, I will put a skin protectant toke over the burn area. I will also give you some painkillers that you can take athome in case the pain comes back again. Oh, okay. Do you think it will leave a scar? It would be awful if it left a scar. I can sense that you are worried about scarring but try not to be too concerned. I suggest you focus on your treatment and healing at the moment because proper wound and burn care is crucial to the overall healing process and essential in preventing an infection. Is that all right? Yes, but I am terrified of getting a scar on my face. You see, I am an aspiring model. And it can really hurt my career. I understand your perspective and it's a reasonable concern. Let me will explain some things you can do at home to improve the healing process and minimize the scarring. Would you be willing to listen about those? Okay, so. So, as I mentioned earlier, I will explain some things that you can do at home. Firstly, it is always important to keep the wound clean and dry. It would help if you can moisturize your skin daily and keep the area covered with Askin protectant. Do not forget to use a sunscreen for protection against UV rays. Also, you could use aloe vera gel for its soothing properties but make sure it does not have any additives in it. Would you be able to this? Yes, I will manage. That's good. Moreover, it's vital that you look after yourself. Our body heals properly and quickly if you remain well hydrated and eat a healthy diet high in protein nutrition is very important. Would you be able to eat a nutritious well-balanced diet? Yes, I am okay with that, but please tell me about scarring. I am anxious about it. Right. Speaking of scarring, if the wound develops a scab, do not pull it off as that may lead to scarring. Also, keeping the burned area moisturized and covered would be beneficial as it will allow new skin cells to fill in quickly and keep the skin flexible, preventing cracking or scabbing and minimizing scarring. So, once the burn has healed, the appearance of scars will improve over time as it evolves and matures. Do you have any questions about what I just explained? No, I don't understand. Please tell exactly when it will heal and in how much time the scar will fade away. Yes, I can sense that you are anxious regarding this. Let me assure you that regular application of moisturizer and sunscreen and a healthy lifestyle will go a long way in aiding the skin's natural regeneration process. Having said that, if you want to get rid of a scar completely, there are different cosmetic treatments and products available these days to minimize that discoloration or scars. 
please tell me about those. I am keen on anything that will not leave a mark on my face. Sure. May. For optimal advice on such options, I would advise you to see a dermatologist who will be able to offer different solutions for reducing scarring. However, we would need to wait until you have recuperated completely. I hope that's okay with you. Yeah. So, how much time would it take for the burn to heal completely? Well, it may take anywhere between three to six weeks for it to heal. In the meantime, you need to keep a diligent eye on the healing area to watch for any potential infection and contact us immediately if you notice any swelling. After all, healing is the most important thing right now. Well, okay. So, I am going to clean the burned area now, put an ointment and cover it with a gauze. You need to be back in two weeks time so that I can check one wound. Will you do that for me? Yes, absolutely. That's good to hear. As discussed earlier, once your burn has healed, I will schedule an appointment with the hospital dermatologist who can theme provide treatment for the scarring so that you can continue your career as a model without any stress. Okay, that sounds good. I will wait for it to heal and then see a dermatologist about it. Thank you. You're welcome. See you in two weeks. Okay, John, the role play ends here. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you for watching.